So uh, Evacuate uh, is a safety and security system whose main aim is actually to support uh, owners of uh, large facilities to operate, plan, implement, simulate and assess uh, complex evacuation. So one of our targets here is to enhance security in areas like stadiums and uh, where 10 of thousands of people are actually gathering in a confined space. So several cutting edge uh, technologies uh, and systems have been uh, uh, developed and improved uh, within the scope of the project, uh, mainly related to three areas. First is information technology. We have built a, a new platform based on existing IoT technologies and platforms such as Sophia, and we have adapted it to be working in an emergency environment and be able to work with another emergency management system such as uh, iSafety. Uh, we also have a uh, developing uh, new technologies for uh, crowd, uh, crowd analysis so we can detect unusual behavior and also we have the development developed uh, an RFID counting technology that is a very low price it can be printed it anywhere so it can be printed in the tickets of the of an stadium for example and uh, so we did technology we can control and uh, know exactly where the people is and and what kind of people uh, do we have in each area of the stadium. In the decision support category we have uh, develop, developed a new algorithm uh, in order to uh, know how, may, how much time do the people need to evacuate the stadium in real time according to the, to the circumstances at, at the moment. The pilot demonstration will consist on four different loops. The first loop will ask the people just to go out of the stadium, just to leave, to evacuate as they usually would do. The second loop, we will block one of the routes, but we will only block it at the time they arrive at the exits. So we'll, they will have to move uh, back to return on their, uh, to, to the, the hall and have to look for another route. It will take some more time. The third loop will be here just in the stadium. It will be uh, of detecting of unusual behavior. The last loop is the real evacuation loop. Uh, we will ask the people to follow the signs. We will have signs upstairs in the in the main hall, and they just have to see uh, whether they have to where they have to go. And in that way, they don't bump into the blocked exit. They just choose the exit which is available.